This is the Jerry Show, and this is Dalika's Proline Travel Tripod. This only weighs 3.6 pounds, and real quick, we'll talk about tripods in general. I was looking for a tripod that would be light enough to carry. Usually, I'm working with a heavier tripod, and there's tons of different tripods out there. This isn't the lightest, nor is it the most well-built. This is actually aluminum. We have some you know, soft grips here. And then we have three different feet down here at the bottom. Now I went with this one. This one was around, I believe $60. And I looked at titanium ones and carbon fiber. And this I believe was the best bet for the budget. So one of the, I mean, for travel tripods, I wanted something that was gonna be light. 3.6 pounds is pretty light. Now there's other tripods out there. You can get it like uh, Office Max or maybe Walmart. They're the Vivitar ones. I've been using those since you know I was a kid and they break just by falling over. I mean, if a wind just breaks. So I stopped buying those. I went through probably at least 12. And here is my new travel tripod and I'm pretty happy with this one. So real quick, I'll just kind of show you how it works. We have three sections here and they have these plastic grips that slide out. Now, one thing I did notice right off the bat is, okay, the play in them. The top one isn't too bad, but the second one isn't really too bad, but I've definitely felt better, but still it's, it's holding up excellent. So pull those out there, but you can see the little bit of wiggle that we have there. But as long as it holds up, I'm just fine like that, just fine. So I'm gonna open it up all the way here. And what's nice about this is that it comes with its own ball head mount and quick release plate. So you can slip it on. I have the actual, oh, I didn't lock that other one here on top. I have the actual plate there in my hand. I'll attach it here to a camera. It just slides on like there. There's this little knob on the side. It's plastic and it does a good job. It's a nice, big, round. It's got nice grip and there you go. So now I got the ball head. I can move this around, point it straight down. And this also extends straight up. And if you're looking at this thing right here, this is actually for to add more weight. If you had a bag and filled it with rocks or whatnot, that's what you could do there. Now this tripod actually goes upside down too. I'll show you, I mean, here in one second, but over here we have a leveling uh, bubble indicator there. And then we can put marks if we wanted to do pans and whatnot, loosen it up around. Pretty nice. So real quick, when I said this one upside down, these levers right here, the front, they actually, when I push it down, they'll spin all the way up. So what that does, let me break it down here and I'll just show you real quickly. I'm gonna compress the center layer here. Shoot that down like that. And now I can go ahead and take these up like this. And like this, now I have it so I can mount my camera right here upside down and I can get some really close to the ground shots, okay? Let me slide this camera on here. And you can see I could even take it down lower if I needed to. So that's definitely a great feature. Uh, I really like that, especially for those lower, you know, whatever you're trying to shoot there. We can go super low, whatnot. But there it is. It's the Dalica Pro Line. They make a couple different models of these. They make one out of titanium. That is probably a little more durable. However, like I said, um, you know, when you start getting into the more expensive, 
you know, two $250 range for a nice tripod like this. And this one fits the bill for about 60. And I'll keep this video updated to let you know how long exactly this is last and if it's broke or anything like that. So, but so far I'm happy with it. It's lightweight. That's that. Thanks for watching.